This inequality involves a few sets of parentheses. Parentheses generally mean that there will be some type of multiplication. On the left hand side, we can see that the 8x needs to be distributed to the x and to the negative 4. On the right hand side, it is important that we know what order to perform our multiplication. There is a 2 that is sitting in the front of my two binomials. It's important to wait to distribute that 2 until a later time. What we want to do with the two binomials is we would want to FOIL those first. So let's go about distributing first the 8x and then FOILing the right hand binomials. To distribute the 8x we'd say 8x times x would be 8x squared and then 8x times negative 4 would be negative 32x. We would keep the less than symbol and then from here also keep the 2 and I'm actually going to open up a set of parentheses to put the result of my FOIL in. The 2 must still be multiplied at some point but not yet. FOILing, I multiply the first two terms together so 4x times x is 4x squared. I then multiply the outer two terms, the 4x and the negative 5, negative 20x. I then multiply the inner two terms, the negative 1 and the x. And then finally, the last two terms, the negative 1 and the negative 5. So there's the result of my full step. I'm going to copy down the left hand side of the problem. And before I distribute the 2, I'm going to combine like terms that I have on the inside of my parentheses. So I'll have 4x squared minus 21x plus 5. From here, I'll distribute the 2 on the right. I'll keep the left side just as it is. Multiplying through the 2, I'll have 8x squared minus 42x plus 10. And then from here, I see that I have both x squared terms and x's on either side of my equation. The first step is to remove your x squared terms. So I'll subtract the 8x squared over in this situation, both of my x squared terms cancel. This is good news for me because at the moment we don't know how to solve inequalities that involve an x squared term. With the result, I now have x's on both sides. I will add the 42x over and have a result of 10x is less than 10. Final step here, divide by 10. I'm dividing, but I'm dividing by a positive number. I do not need to switch the inequality symbol. So we have x is less than 1. If I were to graph this on a number line, I would have here 0, 1 is to its right. This inequality says x is less than 1. We do not include the 1 because there's no bar underneath the inequality symbol, so there would be a parenthesis above the 1. This makes it easier for me to write interval notation. So my interval notation would start with negative infinity, go to 1, do not include the 1, so use a parenthesis there. Set builder notation. would be the set of all x so that x is less than 1 close set.